Chase. Happy Monday. Welcome to Chats with Chase. Here's your next tip. So we looked at a few ways to make parts look like they had a texture, but that's really all it was. The parts didn't actually have any physical features that would change their geometry to look like that. So if we were to, say, 3D print the parts, they would still be smooth. Today, we're going to see a way to print things like knurling or other surface effects. I have this part, a piece of a handle that's been split in half. It also has a few split lines that kind of divide it into different sections, one being where we would like to have a physical texture to add more grip. It starts out with basically the same process as applying any appearance. You can use just about any appearance to make a 3D texture as it's called, but these ones that I'll use are created and optimized specifically for it. Let's just grab one and apply it, making sure it's only on the face that we want the texture on. I don't want the texture to be quite this large, so I'm going to come into the appearances and edit the texture we just applied. I'll just grab one of these corners and shrink it down a little bit. Once it's on, we can navigate over to our Solid Bodies folder and right-click the body in question. There's an option for 3D textures. It's going to apply it to the whole body, but since the texture is only applied to the face we want, that's fine. We want to check this box to tell it to use that texture. We could invert the heights of the final product with this, but doing so won't actually cut into the part that's there. It'll just change which color is elevated. Texture refinement essentially controls your mesh size. A higher percentage will generally give you better results, but with significant performance impact. I had to wait a couple of minutes for this to update. Offset will decide how high the raised parts will go, and maximum element size is another way for you to control how well the final project turns out. I'll go ahead and accept this as it is, and it'll take a little bit to solve. But now we have a part with actual physical features that can be 3D printed. Thanks for watching. Contact me with any questions, and I'll see you tomorrow.